हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस पार्टिकल इन वन डायमेंशनल बॉक्स और इन फाइनाइट स्क्वेर वेल नाउ अ पार्टिकल इज ट्रैप्ड इन द रेक्टेंगुलर वन डायमेंशनल पोटेंशियल बॉक्स द बॉक्स इज रिस्ट्रिक्टिंग द पार्टिकल टू मूव अलॉन्ग द एक्सीज बिटवीन x इक्वल टू जीरो एंड x इक्वल टू एल लेट द वॉल्स ऑफ दिस इनफाइनाइटली वेल बी हार्ड सो दैट द पार्टिकल इज नॉट लूजिंग एनर्जी वेन इट इज बाउंसिंग बैक फ्रॉम द वॉल्स एंड वेलॉसिटी इज सो लो दैट वी कैन नॉट इग्नोर द रेलेटिविस्टिक कंसिड्रेशन लेट वी बी इक्वल टू जीरो इन साइड द बॉक्स and at the walls and outside that means v potential is equal to 0 for the particle for x less than l and greater than 0 similarly potential is equal to infinity outside the box that means when x is greater than 0 and x is greater than l that means outside the box probability of finding the particle is zero and inside the box probability of finding the particle is 100% now we will use our schrodinger equation to track the motion of this particle so for v equal to 0 our schrodinger wave equation for particle within the box takes the form d2 phi by dx2 plus 2m upon h bar square it is e minus v equal to 0 but v is equal to 0 so i am writing e equal to 0 e phi equal to 0 let we will just assume a constant 2m upon h bar square into e is equal to k square so we will put this value of k square here the equation becomes d2 phi by dx2 plus k square phi equal to 0 we are doing all this purposely so that we just get the expression in a general differential form now the general solution of a differential equation is according to mathematics phi x is equal to a sin kx plus b cos kx here our next aim is to evaluate these constants a and b we will evaluate the constants by applying these boundary conditions we will evaluate constants a and b by applying the boundary conditions which we have been given for particle trapped inside one dimensional well now see the particle cannot have infinite energy it neither penetrates the wall nor is it existing outside the box that means wave function is equal to 0 at x equal to 0 and x equal to n so we will apply at x equal to 0 and x equal to n we will apply this boundary condition and we will reduce the expression to phi x is equal to a sin kx a sin kx plus b cos kx here putting the boundary condition phi equal to 0 is equal to a sin 0 plus b cos 0 now sin 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1 so b is equal to 
this we are using mathematics to evaluate the constants a and b and simplify our expression now let us apply the second boundary condition second boundary condition is what x is equal to l now when it is x is equal to l what do we get for x equal to l it becomes x equal to l at second boundary condition phi is equal to 0 at x equal to l then a sin k l is equal to 0 both the sides k l is sine will be 0 when it is the values will be in terms of n pi where n is equal to 1 2 3 etc so k is n pi by n this is where sign will be 0 now n n equal to 0 is not possible n equal to 0 condition is not possible because it is giving us pi equal to 0 everywhere it means the particle is nowhere inside the box this is impossible so <coughs> we will simply put this value of k equal to n pi by l in our wave equation 2m upon h bar square e equal to k square here we will put n pi by l what do we get 2m upon h bar square e is equal to n pi by l ka whole square. We will square it. We get n square pi square upon l square. So what do we get? One more uh, thing we can do. We can put h bar equal to h upon 2 pi. So our equation further becomes very easy and we get e n is equal to n square h square upon 8 m l square if we have a closer e n nth value for n equal to 1 2 3 or even if you write e n that makes no difference inside an infinite deep potential well or in an infinite square well the particle cannot just have an arbitrary energy but it can have only certain discrete energies corresponding to n equal to 1 2 3 etc so each permitted energy will be called eigenvalue each permitted energy will be called eigenvalue of the particle each permitted energy will be called eigenvalue of the particle and constitute the energy level of the system and the integer n that specifies an energy level e n is called its quantum number the wave function that corresponds to each eigenvalue are called eigenfunctions if you want to find out eigenfunctions it is very simple uh, you can find an expression for eigenfunctions also here how are we going to do it very easy we have evaluated our constants b is equal to 0 let us evaluate a and we will get the answer how see put b equal to 0 k equal to n pi by l in your uh, solution of the wave equation so phi x is equal to a sine k x plus b cos k x here the permitted solutions of this wave equation are phi n x is equal to a sin n pi x upon l here 
to find a what we will do we will use the normalized acceptable condition of wave function what is the normalized acceptable wave function of my uh, wave function is this square d in terms of x dx is equal to 1 so we will simply write this here minus infinity to plus infinity a sin n pi x upon l mod square dx is equal to 1. Now we will we know the limits that have been been given to us are x equal to 0 and x equal to l. So we will put 0 to l a square sin square n pi x upon l dx is equal to 1. Now this we will solve to get the value of a. How are we going to do it? We will simply use one mathematical formula. The mathematical formula we will use to solve this expression formula is cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta. So sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2. We will put this value here. We will use it here. So our expression becomes 0 to L A square into 1 minus cos 2 n pi x upon l you can take out your 2 constant here into dx is equal to 1 so and integral cos theta is equal to sin theta another mathematics formula integral of cos theta is sin theta. So this becomes equal to a square upon 2 into x minus sin 2 n pi x upon l divided by 2 n pi x upon l limit 0 to l. Now for x equal to L, for x equal to L, a square upon 2 into L minus 0 is equal to 1. So we get a square upon, uh, is equal to 2 upon L which implies a is equal to under root 2 upon L. So our wave equation becomes equal to phi n is 2 upon l into sin n phi x upon l. This expression for normalized wave function or the normalized eigenfunctions of the particle moving along a line between x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. Uh, x equal to 0 and x equal to L with 0 potential energy at points for which x is less than 0 and x is greater than L. We can plot these points also. The first three normalized wave functions we take and we can plot them also and check out the motion of the particle in the one dimensional well as follows. See this was our well with which we had begun x is equal to 0, x is equal to n. Now for n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3. The wave function phi x for n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3, 3 moves. That means 
the wave function here can be positive or negative as you can see but if we plot the mod square of this that means we plot phi n square mod it will always be positive it is never going to be negative see n equal to 1 n equal to 2 n equal to 3 n equal to 1 n equal to 2 n equal to 3 that means it is positive phi n square mod phi 3 square so classical theory predicts that the probability for a particle being anywhere is same but quantum physics says that the probability of finding a particle at a particular point is different for different quantum numbers. Thank you.